Hey guys, good morning from Lala and myself, Brendan at Evoke Bike. Uh, if you like these videos, definitely subscribe so you get notified when we post new content. But I had an athlete, actually two of them asked me, so wait, am I never supposed to ride in zone one? You've probably seen my endurance posts and uh, people are hashtagging, hashtag no coast. Um, what I want to quickly talk about is how do you improve your cycling endurance rides so that you can make massive gains? And there's another video somewhere about this, but you know, briefly talking about if you go out for an endurance ride, many people have at least 30% in zone one. They'll have a ton of coasting. Um, if you happen to go on a group ride, most of them depends on the group, but it's just a lot of smashing and then coasting. So this does not help your endurance cycling economy. It does not help you reap all the benefits that like endurance and low tempo will give you. This is an endurance sport, so these rides are really important, but since you don't go out and get crushed, a lot of people skip them. I've got one guy in Rochester still, he'll do his Tuesday, Wednesday workout, like a hard, moderate, and then if he ever skips one, it's the endurance one. Um, I get it, it's not the sexy workout, but there's no replacement for a solid endurance ride, what it does, because you get amazing aerobic adaptations without the fatigue that really hard rides give you. But to the question, so when do I ride zone one? You ride zone one if you're in a bike race, right? A bike race is trying to pedal the least, but then pedal the hardest when it really counts. That was pretty obvious, you're trying to conserve energy. The other one is if you're actually on an active recovery ride, you should get passed by a grandma riding her bike to the grocery store. Um, go to the Netherlands and go on an endurance, go on a recovery ride. You get passed by tons of school kids, and everyone will pass you because you're going slow. You're staying 50% or less of your FTP, but it you know helps you keep stay limber, you know, the blood flow, it's actually recovering from hard rides. The last one is if you're doing max watt intervals. So really hard P max, really hard max aerobic, anything where like you have an interval set and you need to recover in between them, go easy. Like it's surprising that people will have some hard intervals and they'll do it and then they can still ride like zone two. Like if you're really training hard on hard stuff, um, anything anaerobic, max aerobic should be pretty tough by the third, fourth, fifth one. You know, you should be coasting, recovering, spinning, getting, you know, drinking your fluids, eating a gel. Um, that's when you actually ride zone one. So there is time for zone one. But on a weekend ride, if you're doing a long ride, there's no replacement for like a four or five hour ride try to pedal consistently in zone two. I always say target 75% FTP, you'll go over a little bit, right? It's impossible to ride just at that number and it's not like you're flipping a switch. Oh, this is endurance and this is tempo. The reason you don't wanna just smash tempo too much is that it can catch up with you over a long period of time. Um, I have tempoed myself to death before. It's not fun, you plateau, and it's something that happens very slowly over about eight weeks and all of a sudden you're like not making gains and you're not feeling sharp and you're just dull. Um, so target 75%, a little bit's gonna go over, a little bit's gonna be under, you're gonna average around the high end of endurance. If you feel really strong, be thankful that you feel strong that day. Every day you do not have to crush it. So that's when you ride zone one, that's when you don't ride zone one. Use endurance to get faster. I mean, I said in my Gravel Worlds article, a uh, big reason why I was able to ride that long and, and have juice at the end to get fifth in the KOM was endurance rides. It wasn't just VO2 max stuff. But check out that article too. So subscribe. Uh, please like the post if you like it. Most importantly, we share this with one of your cycling friends. We're just trying to get the word out of all our free info, um, helping people with power file analyses. Um, let us know how we can help you. Email me, brendan at evoke.bike. See ya.